Microphone muted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vanity Overwatch League. I'm AJS Zero, joined here with my boy 30 to bring you Wang Zhang Tower versus Lenny Face. So 30, I'm going to put the over under at three and a half. How many points will Lenny Face cap in this series? Oh, oh man. Uh, I'm going to go over. I, you know why? Because you just got to bet on these guys. This is the last hope for them. They, they have to 3-0 this week just to stay in the playoff race. Yeah, and, um, you know, I've watched enough anime to know how this could go. <laughs> what if, holy shit, what if, like, Tr Letty Face are the main characters of the Vanity Overwatch League anime, and not me? Then we got quite a storyline coming up in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, they, uh... The team's map drafted, and we are here on a Batty Overwatch League favorite of Dorado, and Wang Zhang on the blue side, and see our uh, Lenny Face on the red side. Yeah, it's been really fun to watch how the Batty Overwatch League map meta hasn't changed all season. Do we just agree, like, in the playoffs on which five maps to play to keep this season, like, thematically consistent? <laughs> right, because if it's an anime, we have to kind of go back to our roots and like yeah. every single match is gonna start on King's Row. Then we're gonna go to Dorado, and then we're gonna go to Li Zhang. And if anyone goes to Game Five, that's what we're just dropping them on Horizon Winter Colony. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if there's any team that's gonna select that map in in the course of the. But isn't season. that the fear? Is if you assume the other team won't select it, so you're like, oh, I don't have to ban this, and then they do. Yeah, that is the fear. That is my fear. I yeah, I don't know That's what to do. That's my fear too. I, I tilt, you tilt to lose the series. It's like we just played a game on Horizon. I don't want to go back. Yeah. So it's gonna be the blue guys on the defense, Wang Zhang. They're running pretty standard Wang Zhang comp so far, uh, with TK Thrifty Flex Extraordinaire on the May. Yeah, he looks maybe drawing a little inspiration from the boy Blabu. I've been running that May a lot on this point in particular. Uh, TK Thrifty, obviously the first May main in the BOL. And meanwhile, we got Lennyface um, running Tree on uh, Farah. Oh, and by the way, huge storyline Miracle Man, aka Manlord the Miracle. Oh, yeah. Starting. For Lennyface. Yeah, and uh, Vail Destiny, real swinging dick there. He gets discorded and goes down, but it's traded back, the Wang Zhang looking like they might have control of this first fight. Yeah, looking good. Shooter die just swinging the big dick around, stalling time on this cart. Uh, using that shield really well, so he's not getting frozen there. Yeah, but chill out on the soldier, just completely uncontested on this high ground. He hasn't had to move yet, neither Albino Joe, but now he finally is dropping down and and pocket healing. Shooter die on this Reinhardt, who is really just keeping this choke on lockdown. Yeah, um, a really nice stall out waiting for uh, TK50 to come back and immediately die there in this fight, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to stop Wang Zhang. Uh, we got a monkey popped in the back somewhere. So Temple Reds from Albino Joe for we Wang Zhang. They, they want to hold the defense here. They want to try to keep the cart in front of this bridge area, because if they lose the fight and actually give up ground, it becomes significantly harder to defend. Chill out, still just chucking away from that high ground. Man, somebody go up there and shoot that dude. Nope, but here comes the first blizzard though. TK Thrifty laying it down perfectly on the corner of the bend there and chill out now with the TAC visor over the top. A lot of ults used and a lot of people dying. Stay out of my way. I, uh. I hope Bloody Face believes in miracles. No pun intended. Because <laughs> this has not been pretty. No, it is not. Um, but if you're going to force a miracle in Overwatch, five ults is a good Ooh. way to do it, and they are 1% away from being able to do so. Just They're... missing the D.Va ults. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Shooter Die snips it all out with his fucking dog senses. Oh! Bill Destiny brings three of them back up, though, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to save this. This is chaos in the madhouse down in the basement here. What? 
is uh, happening. <laughs> Lemon Face actually then forced Wang Zhang away from the cart, and they are now moving it under the bridge. Shooting Eye charging back forward, looking for something here, but they pushed this cart a long way. Almost past the trunk they want to be at, but now TK Thrifty dropping the blizzard on the cart. Lemmy Face gonna try to take to the sky as his tree wants to put some damage down here, but I think he's lost too many friends and now he's lost his own life. Yeah, oh no, Lemmy Face, they, they look like they're still straggling in here. They they had the three push the cart through the choke, which I guess was a success for them, <laughs> at least trying to get it up the hill there. But yeah, now, now it forces a, a full regroup out of Lenny Face and Miracle Man. Testing his miracle skills on the Junkrat. Yeah, I guess he was not feeling the May, so he's going for... Uh, I mean, maybe a Shooter Die Shield Buster could help, because Shooter Die has been getting a lot of value out of that right-click so far. Uh, but this is a pretty good ult economy for Wang Zhang Tao here. They're playing this very aggressively. They don't really give a damn about the cart, as Utech is doing his diamond monkey business up in the front. Yeah, Wang Zhang has it's like scissored off the team. The supports for Lenny Face are way in the back. Mercy is healing the Lucio right now with Miracle Man back there as well. It's, it's a split fight for Lenny Face. Uh, Primal Rage popped out of uh, Wang Zhang there. Church Shatter comes through. Yeah, Treat popping the last Rocket Barrage here, trying to find anything, but not going to. Teamic takes him out of the skies, and 10 seconds to go here. Um... This was was decisive. Yes. Uh, May yes. looking like they're going to at least get there. They're going to try to stall this out for Lenny Face. They got some good stallers, Lucio and May, on this point, And now the rest of the team can filter in. But failed Destiny going down before it even begins is going to be a bad start. Almost had that res up. Chill out in the 1v1 against Tree. He's going to be the, the winner of that one. And it, overtime is still ticking. Lenny Face, the dream is still alive. I would like to recall my bet if it hadn't been entered into the betting office. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how betting works. A four-man res on a Veil Destiny. Uh, it's not over yet. There's only one on the cart, though, for Lenny Face. It's like they heard you talking about the bet, and they're like, one <laughs> last pump there. Oh, okay. No, I still take it back. Get it out of the betting office. Don't submit it. Uh Man, I haven't seen something this brutal since the Red Wedding. Oof. I'm, I'm thinking I set that line too high. You know, Vegas Vegas fucks up sometimes. It, it's hard to set the line. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, certainly think Wang Zhang is going to pop this cart through and hit that golden yeah, rectangle. This is only one fight. They win one fight, and they've won Dorado. Yeah. Man, Wang Zhang, it's like they know I wanted to play some games tonight, so they're going to try to win this fast for me before I got to go to work. What? These guys are these guys are my friends, man. Thank you, Wang Chang. <laughs> Wang Chang, the true friends of the Vatio Watch League. Except for Utech. I don't think Utech likes me. Ooh. He sent me this Snapchat the other day and he was like, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I got the time. And you know how like girls when they're in bed and sometimes they'll yell out their like ex boyfriend's name because they don't really love you? Right. Well he kinda did that. It was like, I'm so happy, I'm diamond, I'm so happy. Fuck you, Swift And it really hurt my feelings because <laughs> I knew he was he was in the zone and when something like that slips out, you know it's their true feelings. So. Right, just just unadulterated feeling right there, yeah. But, oh well. I might not be Diamonds, Utec might hate me, but at least I'm the best Mercy in the league. That is a, a fact. Uh, it's very true. God told I, me it's true. Yeah, I, uh, I believe it, man. But Joe is not the best Mercy in the league. Failed Destiny and Albano Joe, the two Mercies in this game. Yeah. Um, Albano Joe was actually playing really well that last game. A lot of good. Not that he was being asked to do a lot, but he, was, he wasn't he was holding on to the tempo res. And I think that's something a lot of Mercies do a really bad job of, especially in the BOL. Sometimes when you're winning so hard, you've got to just take those one-man reses to keep things going. But I really like the reses he was taking last map. Yeah, especially like they, they were they were playing to win with the reses, right? They they didn't want to lose a fight. They if they could feel like they could keep it going, they did, and they they held them very Ooh. tough. TK Thrifty with the frag on the opposing Pharah is going to be a very good start. Utec jumps in on this Winston, disrupting the high ground out of Lenny Face. 
Yeah, and Lenny Face, they gotta go drop out onto this cart eventually. They're kinda just casually watching it. They're not gonna get to this cart in nope. time because they were too busy contesting the high ground. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh... That's somebody. Uh, there's no way we didn't catch that for the bad plays of the week. That was <laughs> like all time baddie league. At its yeah, finest. I. That that's more than a C nine. I don't. I don't. That like C nine. At least you you touched the point at some at some point. That yeah, play of the match gonna be shooted out here. I assume this is gonna be that one inside the building. Oh, yeah. Yes. He sniffs it out like a fucking drug dog. Oh! Finds all of Letty face and oh my god, just murders them all. Oh Reznev, we don't give a damn. I'm gonna keep swinging this hammer. It was so good. <laughs> That honestly, that might someone put that on Pornhub. That is now that we're already on Pornhub. I mean, yeah, might as well not stop. We we have a presence there now. Okay, yeah, this I guess that's where we're officially moving all the content. That's that's good. It's very you know, accessible. You know? A lot of graphics cards have like built-in programs with the drivers now that'll like upload your clips for you. Do you think yeah. any of those will add Pornhub integration? Ooh, like what if you want to be the greatest AeroJ streamer in Western Wisconsin? And it, what it would if just you're auto shooter detect guy. and clip? Yeah, it would be it. like, oh, I said something nasty in this game. I'm going to put it on Pornhub instead of Twitch. <laughs> we can only hope AI won't go that far. Wow, okay. So Wang Zhang, they win Dorado. They're banning four maps here. Letting face, it's up to them. I'm sure they're going to pick something pretty fun because their playoff dreams are are out of the water now. Uh, is done. it official? Yeah, they had a, they had a three zero tonight to oh man, that's so to sad. get into the playoffs. Yeah. Who okay? Who is Miracle Man playing for? Why am I drawing a huge blank here? But also too lazy to tab out. And Rogue Mount is the one missing. So mm. microphone muted. Yeah, so they must have mixed up the comp a little bit because Rogue is pretty much perma Lucio. When he's when he's playing Miracle Man, he was on the Junkrat. What was he on? He was on May, so he, he's just like the uh, the flex guy this yeah, really, time around. He started as May. He switched to Junkrat for a single life, and then he switched back to May. I was very confused. Oh, about oh it. really? <laughs> it was, I mean, he's level twenty seven. Like, can can level twenty five still play ranked, or do they up that? No, I think he still can. All right. Well, at least he, I mean he can play comp. So, but he's a he's a sweet summer child. Yeah, actually, he yeah. has two hours of Junkrat and Quick Play. He's all about that Junkrat. Anyway, uh, Wang Zhang banning their their namesake, and then three of the two point maps. And this, they're they're, they're gonna do it, aren't they? Lenny Face is gonna pick it. I'm hoping so, man. This could be the <laughs> only chance we'll ever have to see the Horizon Lunar Colony. Uh, do it. <laughs> Everyone's thinking it. Lenny Face has to be thinking it too. What if this is just like it turns into a traumatic trigger for Wang Zhang? They let Horizon through, they lose it so horrifically they never recover. They don't even see anyone in the final. <laughs> this is the most tense map picks are ever going to be. Yeah, I'm I'm just hanging on on the edge of my seat. I can't contain myself. Oh, so according to good boy Albano Joe, um Oh fucking no balls. <laughs> We're going to Nepal. That's so disappointing. But Albano Joe, Badge and Lenny Face could still tie. So uh Apologies, folks. We have a, a streamer who feeds information in our ear. He's, um, of all the commissioners in this channel, probably the worst. So, sometimes <laughs> we just get wrong information. <laughs> oh, that's, Microphone that's activated. Microphone muted. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lenny needs to sweep Veg next week if they get swept tonight for the tie. Is that what the situation is? I don't know. Anyway, That's the fact is, like. Lenny Face, they still have something to fight for. Their destiny might be out of their hands, but well, it's a failed one to start anyway. I mean, if that's the case, then, I mean, at least winning a map here could give them more options going in the next week, so... 
That's true. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, I'm, maybe you're right. Maybe it's not out of their hands. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that things are still in their hands if they can tie. If they can also do better than tying, or at least make it easier to tie. And what better way to throw shit in a blender than go back to King of the Hill, which I think has been by far the best game type for these guys. Oh yeah, uh, Lenny Face that is. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Tree very elusive on this Fera. He tends to stay alive a lot longer than you think a Fera should. <laughs> and he always finds the opening. He's a real motherfucker. I don't. I don't. I'm glad I don't have to play against it again. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Like, give me, give me that enemy Genji. I don't mind that as much as Tree's goddamn Fera. Yeah, truth. But we're gonna we're gonna see something a little bit interesting here. Ball of sexy, breaking out the deleted hero of Overwatch. I think he's better than everyone gives him credit for, and I think Ball of Sexy is going to prove me right because <laughs> he is a ball of sexy on that Roadhog. He was making some good plays when he busted it out last week. As we see, oh shit, just hitting the fan fast. We see two tests right away over here on the side. As this is a good start for Lenny Faces, they get three oh. picks pretty fast. They might be able to establish on this point. I don't think Wang Zhang are crazy enough to still keep contesting this, and they are not, so they're going to run back. Uh, the healers, the last two men out, but. Do make it with their lives. See, both teams really just jumped right on each other, and they took that high ground on Wang Zhang's side, and uh, Lettyface just decisively wins it outright. Yeah, Lettyface still running the single healer, just failed on the uh, Mercy, so sometimes oh. you can be very explosive when you're running that. As TK50 goes down early, Utek is deep on the point, but he does get failed SD down, so there's no healers available for Lettyface. This could be rough, a two for two, but in Wang Zhang's favor, while there's no healers alive, and there goes Miracle Man down, but so is Team It's a oh, but there goes Tree. So yeah, body count in favor of Wang Zhang at the end of the day here, as they take up the Demon Mech as well. They should be able to just force their way forward here. Ball is sexy, does not have a whole hog to kill. Oh, they're stalling. Did buy some time. Half and half. Looks like he wants to contest this, but he's not going to get to the alts. Oh, uh, potentially. Maybe, maybe a wasted res, I don't know. I, it did help them win the fight a little bit, but they also didn't have control of the point until yeah, right He's then, also so. um, up to 40% already. He's going to be oh, close wow. to a res before another fight breaks out, so I think that was fine. Uh, chill out on the soldier. He is just completely left unanswered. He just walks up the stairs there and, and takes out Tree from the side. And they really got to put some more pressure on this guy. Yeah, chill out. I got to start hyping this guy up more. He... No one pressures him the way they should. This guy's really fucking good. Yeah. A uh, bomb comes through uh, from Wang Zhang just to clear some space, and now the trans layered with both offensive ultimates, Death Blossom and Tac Pfizer. Yeah, an outright win there for Wang Zhang. This is ugly, man. These aren't even like the fights where like they're just winning all the fights. It's like they're not even letting people die in multiple fights in a row. Stupid yeah. monkey. Yeah, and they got they got some good ultimates here. Uh, Earth Shatter, Primal Rage. Primal Rage is going to be good for for stalling. They do have control of the point, so even if they do go down to their last dying breath, Utek popping Primal Rage might be enough for them to get back into the fight. And Albino Joe now has the red, so it's an even more dangerous fight here. Oh, Utek be... trying to hide here. Oh, <laughs> going for a cheeky little monkey crouch, but he gets snuffed out by Ball of Sexy. That's what Roadhog's good for. You can punish Winston's and Divas if they're out of position. Your whole team can burst him down, get him out of the mech, or, or just kill the, the monkey before he can primal rage. And there it is. He's, he's still walking into the back line. He takes out that most important member we were just talking about. Chill out. Walks behind the Reinhardt. Whole hog comes through. Albino Joe's the target. Double res at the same exact time, but the Earth Shatter from Wang Shang might have done it. Tree's Rocket Barrage is stopped a little bit early there from the Helix Rocket. And it's anyone's fight, but we're going to get to 99% here for Wang Zhang. Yeah, and a lot Joe. of fights on the tail end here coming out for Wang Zhang, but then they lose both of the DPS. It's now a tank battle on the point while people are trying to get close. I think that Lenny Face is going to have people here closer as half and half is solo capping right now. Utah coming on to make sure this point does not fall away from his team. Going to pop the Primal Rage, just jumping all over the place here. Disrupting, but not really laying down substantial damage. But he has bought the time for his team. This TK50 oh. drops a big Death Blossom. Oh, and that's gonna take Letty Face out. They, they they did it again with the three the the all three ult trifecta there too. 
two offensives and the transcendence. I, I, that's a lot of damage. I don't even know how you're supposed to defend against that. I mean, if Defense Matrix is down, which unfortunately Cruz just got popped there, right when the Death Blossom starts, there's there's really no hope. Unless they have a trans of your own, or you know you have that that res waiting in the back. Uh, you know, a pretty good fight though at the start from Lenny Face. Um, yeah, I thought they were gonna be able to cap there, but uh, Shooter Dad did a good job of stalling out just enough time for Utec to get in range. And once you have the Prama Rage on that point, I mean, that's arguably the best stall in the game, depending yeah. on the situation. And when the situation is just a single Roadhog on the points, you're not going anywhere. And he didn't. Yep. Uh, Lenny Phase looks like they're running the same stuff here. Uh, uh, pretty much the same for Wang Zhang. I'm, yeah, I think TK30. Well, TK30 was on the Reaper previously, so he's gonna try out the Farah now. Pretty good boot map here on Sanctum. And there's just the, the full reach around here from Lenny Phase. They get onto the opposing side, and the point will unlock in one. I wonder who's gonna step onto a tree, though, with the unfortunate suicide. And yeah, that's gonna be three down for Lenny Phase and a capped point for Wang Zhang. And, it, oh, it. We see uh, Lenny Face committing to this going. Oh, sorry, I got my sides mixed up. They are not going behind the enemy spawn. They are retreating. Oh, man, they are way out of it. Oh, man. I would love to see Wang Zhang punish this. I, they they had to have known Ball Sexy and Cruz were there. Sort of split off. They could have rushed that in there and. They're content to just keep slowly charging up their ults right now as all six of Lenny Face look like they're either going for the behind or for the drop. Although Miracle Man, um, go not on the same page with his team there. Oh, he's, he's going dropped. in. He goes he's deep. Running right in through the front gate. Maybe got the most effective way of picking this fight. And we're going to see three and a half kills. Oh, man, this is going to be a team kill, isn't it? <laughs> this is like a slaughterhouse, dude. You just, you drop down Overwatch Hero, and then you just die. They just went into the blender. Yeah, uh, th these guys... I'm, if you ever see like any of those documentaries about factory farm chicken, yeah, it's like you know we factory farm chicken to eat. Wang Zhang is factory farming Lenny Face for ultra right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They just go in there to die. There, there's no way they're gonna try to win that one in that in the death cubby. Uh, but now they are pushing out onto main platform. Okay, Thrifty's putting up so much good damage from this flank though. Completely uncontested miracle man. The only hit scan available to take him out. Maybe not my way of dealing with CK Thrifty. And there we go. Chill out. Popping a big <gasps> ult there, but he's going to get dude, booped, I think. But the kill feed says otherwise. Heroes never die. Yeah. The final Joe bringing up Teamic, who does have the Transcendence available. As Tree tossing the rocket prod into the Transcendence. Oh, man. And that's that's gonna be it, I think. Oh, extra cruise oh, he's no. able to get on there. Phil Destiny, one man res, keeps tree up, but they forced a four B four or something here at the end. Cruise Master picking up the kill on TK fifty, so Lenny Face, they're still in this one. Yeah, they gotta make sure not to step off. It is just half and half on the point right now. But this is looking pretty good. Um we do see some of the spawns coming in though, but the point gonna fall over as Utech was forced into the side room as he is going for the suicide but doesn't make it all the way down. Uh, it, just a little misplay there, I assume, because Wang Zhang had to have known they weren't gonna, you know, you can't just sit in that side room until the next point fight happens. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, just, I thought they maybe, maybe they thought the, the map was over. There's no need to keep fighting there. Uh, but TK50, he's on the, the right side mega here, gets spotted out, has to fly back to his team. So Wang Zhang, they're approaching. They're they're, they're going to take this one slow. It's only 34% for Lenny Face. There, he got that. He's going far right though by himself, and he gets picked out out of the air with Cruise Master. Yeah, one for two in favor of Lenny Face so far. Ooh, oh, they're going to knock Shooter Guy off. Diva slam, and that's I think going to force a retreat out of Wang Zhang here. And Cruise Master is not content to let them retreat, going in here for a bit of a chase, but uh, he's just one diva. Probably not going to find any kills. Yeah. Now, TK50, he's flying over the point. There's four ultimates on the board for Wang Sheng, so a really good ult economy here for them to win this next fight. Yeah, they're close on their last two as well, but there are a lot of ults close for 
Lenny face as well. So expect some bad casting coming in as Utech jumps in from the flank. Expect the monkey mode as soon as he goes low. Shooter Die actually misses the Earth Shadow there, but he pins and failed Destiny. He had the sound barrier, but it won't be enough to survive. Chill out, Stack Visor will pick up the crucial kills onto the DPS, and that will be Wang Zhang capping Sanctum and taking the 2 0 lead. Yeah, rough stuff there for Lenny Face. They had ults available and they had more ults close, but we just see Wang Zhang are better at using the ultimates. And. <laughs> When you can just straight up whiff the Reinhardt ult and you still go one for six in a fight. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad news there. Yeah, he finds the crucial pin though. He just walks over a little bit and there's Fail Destiny in that left corridor lined yeah, up ready to go. Yeah, and I feel like that has happened a lot on both of these maps. And we do see a roll swap coming over here. Half and half and gonna switch over to the Lucio. So no more solo healing for Fail Destiny. I think that's a necessary change for Lenny Face. You just... Your, bag, your eggs are in one basket so hard when you have somebody solo healing. and uh, But they're still going to have solo healing. It's just going to be half and half, actually. So, Alright. Well, well, it, it, it's really tough, though, with the Pharah. I wish they would run no air component here, because if you're Mercy solo resing, it's hard to balance the air and the ground uh, for healing. Yeah, I think you pretty much got to put this out in tree, you go fuck yourself, is the call. <laughs> like... You gotta come to me for the healing, so I'm never going up to you. So we'll see half, what Half and Half can do here. The Wang Zhang establishing up here on the high ground, so that is a point on top. On point taken so far. Yeah, he, Utex, he, he's in the back line. He's looking for tree. He's bouncing around, but failed Destiny on that Reaper. He picks up Shooter Die to start this one off, and the cap goes over to Lenny Face. But they are down a man now, and without with a baby diva as well, and yeah, they're gonna get, they're gonna get killed here. Yeah, oh. tree trying to contest this point solo, but he's getting frozen out of the skies. I played Pokemon, I know that's super effective. Now it's just Reaper coming in on that point, that he's got to get the hell out. Oh, maybe buys a little time there. So, a little spooky uh, ghost. 19% given over to Lenny Face that honestly they shouldn't have had. That was a uh, pretty poorly played at the start by Wang Zhang, but. They win the fight, so it doesn't really matter. We'll see if it comes back to bite them later. My ultimate is charging. I mean, really, the only ultimate up for this next fight for Lenny Phase is going to be the Resurrection. And there's going to be quite a few coming up for Le Le er, Wang Shang. Final Joe with the res and TK50 with that Blizzard, which is super devastating on this point on Village. You, you basically can't be on the point, otherwise you're going to get froze. Yeah, here we go. The barrage of ults come on half and half, dying early here. Wang Zhang shouldn't even need any more of their ults, although they're gonna pop the blizzard anyways. Um, I don't know who they were trying Whoa. to freeze there. Is Albano Zhou gonna temper as teamic? And actually, yeah, it's gonna be all the ults popped here from Ooh. Wang Zhang. Maybe a little overkill, as they're still not finding all the kills. I'll build that he goes for the hero play. Doesn't find it. Yeah. So a, a lot of bad ult usage there. Wang Shang probably more so. They had a almost a fully booked ult economy. They had five up and they use them all. Death Blossom there at the end. Not gonna get much from that. You know, <laughs> best you get you you trade two for one, but you still don't have the point. Lenny Face, they just gotta get in there and and start fighting. You don't understand, man. You gotta just you, you press Q with your heart, with your heart, not your finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can do this. And well, I maybe believe. Phil Destiny's needs to cringe before his heart grows, because that heart's not getting him very far. As we see, Whole Hog coming in here, they pick off the Utech. They pick off Albino Joe, actually, that's two picks. This is looking good. Tree putting a Rocket Barrage down onto the point, but he gets sniped out by t -Mick. But I don't think that's going to matter, as Lenny Face established and cap on the point here, as TK Thrifty tucks tail behind his ice wall and gets the hell out. Ooh, look at t -Mick. on this and yada. He, uh, he scooted out the back, and he's on the... Uh... Wrong side of the map, but he's waiting. He's looking for the assassination play. Oh, baby. Yeah, l -tree didn't see him, walks right by, by him. Yeah, here it is, D-Mick with the, the flankers in. He's coming in. Discord still goes down on the hog. Blizzard helps him out there from his team, Wang Zhang, but half and half gonna use the resurrection, get some invulnerability, trying to keep his team up, but now they go down. Tac Pfizer is channeled, and Wang Zhang are gonna win this one. Looks like pretty decisively yeah Lenny face has to blow everything here because they lose this point they lose this game and 
they're losing all of their lives. I think that's gonna be it. So we see Wang Zhang going for the push, just you know, in case. Yeah. Oh. There's a nice hammer down, and that is gonna be it. Wang Zhang wins three to zero, and if you're still taking that over on the three and a half points, you are now counting on Lenny Face to win a map in overtime. Yeah. And so play the match with TK Thrifty on the Reaper here. Um, there were a lot of good choices available, but it's going to be the one that closed off this first round. So he just walks in. Oh, you want to help me get in here? Thanks, buddy. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. Yeah. And that, that's uh, kind of the danger with the new Roadhog there. It's not a guaranteed one hit there on the Reaper. Uh, so pulls him in for the Death Blossom, and unfortunately, Cruise Master gets popped too, so no defense matrix to defend. Are these guys all playing in the same channel? Are what? Like TeamSpeak? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Uh, Albano Joe was just saying the TK30 and Combs was calling. I have alt. I just need to get in. So I was wondering if Ball Sexy was setting that play up with him or something. It's always nice when guys on opposite teams can play together like that. Yeah, it, it, it that is nice. So same bands for. Wang Zhang. Uh, the three two CPs that weren't Horizon and some other map? Oh yeah, Li Zhang. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now now you gotta pick it, Lenny Face. Let's be real. Like, you think we're gonna go home and not watch Batty Overwatch League on Horizon Lunar Colony? Yeah, I, I got my phone out. I'm ready to start making phone calls screaming at people <laughs> we're on Horizon. <laughs> Oh, Elio! Oh. I don't want I don't want Lenny Face to make the playoffs anymore. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, chances are good at this at this rate. They're they're trying their hand at King of the Hill once again. It's one thing to say the chances are good, but like I've watched very aggressive Genji. <laughs> That's it. I, you you I you watched them play Overwatch and <laughs> they are on a one in eleven stretch right now over the last four weeks. <sighs> That's with that, true. Uh, Soul win being a big blemish on Winstony Baloney's stretch, and I just I I th th they'd have to win or they'd have to lose four straight maps for Lenny Face to make it in. I believe, assuming it's a three zero followed by a tiebreaker, but. I don't know, like, I'm not ruling that out. Yeah, I don't know. I... Uh, they... I don't know. Lenny Face... Uh, honestly, aren't looking very good. Nepal, I thought Nepal was really... They're going to come out and at least cap one of those points. You know, Tree, like, just go off, get, like, a double boop. Something. But they are just really getting torn apart. The teamwork out of Wang Shang is is impeccable at this point. They're channeling alts at the right time. It might be a little over usage there on, on Nepal, but for the most part, they're they're laying down the hammer. That's the worst thing about playing Wang Zhang, is even when their teamwork is off, they can just beat you on individual skill. And that's what we saw. They have fights where like, oh no, they just use too many alts. It's like, well, it doesn't matter because Lenny Face isn't going to capitalize properly. Right. Because Wang yeah. Zhang is just that good. So we'll see. Ilios maybe gonna go better here. Yeah, but there it is. That's what I was hoping for. We're on we're on Ilios well, and we're gonna see Cruise Master's pocket pick Orisa. We should do what we should film Cruise Master with those like pocket pick videos for like League of Legends. <laughs> where he does where we like sit him down in like a contemporary design room and, and ask him about all those those sick Arisa chips. So you press, I mean, you just you haul you them just, over the well. You wait for them to be standing near the well, and then you just shoot it there and you pull them in. That's all I do. <laughs> wow. Video over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then we'll do a slow mo. We'll show the button presses. So you, so you right click, and then you right click again. I, uh, the only part of those videos I remember is Double Lift's Lucian because all the cool like cancels he went over in the video. That that was actually pretty cool. That was a good. I remember Double Lift's Lucian because of the memes though. That's that's true. Like, that was a good. Go one to Worlds, don't pick Lucian. <laughs> that kind of stuff. 
but now I'm triggered. But I can be untriggered. My cruise master on this Arissa setting up in the front here as uh, half and half going to go down very early. He's playing the tracer. Ah, uh, this is. It's a good tracer. This is no healer. Oh, no, there... Not there was a healer, but not anymore. Oh, yes. okay. Bloody face is bloody <laughs> face off the face of the map here. Yeah. Cruise match the last to fall, and that's it. Cap over to Wang Zhang. And they're not done. Why settle for the point when you can push to their spawn? Ooh, I, I don't know. These, these uh. Maybe a, maybe a potential stagger death there from Utech. But you know, but at this point, I'm just nitpicking Wang Zhang. Like, like you said. Just for the last game, they overused ults at one point in Nepal. A team should punish it. They're not going to get punished here. They're, there's no no difference for them if they give up these stagger deaths every once in a while. Yeah, and when they do give up the stagger deaths, Albino Joe's always there with the tempo res. Yeah, that is true. He hasn't got a lot of big reses, but he's gotten a lot of one-man reses. They haven't which lost quantity a lot of big quality. <laughs> Tree switch over to the McCree here. He's on this right side, but TK50. He gets one before going down. Miracle Man on the Junkrat. Man, even when things are looking good for a half second there, not gonna be enough. Albano Joe was going in aggressive like he wanted to jump in and pop the res as it came up, but then he realized his team had already won the fight, so he's gonna hold on to it. Oh, poor failed Destiny. He's got U-Tech in his face. He had a res for the iframes there. And um, it's not going to cost him his life. It's actually you that shot oh. off there. This could yeah. be the best chance we're going to see for Lenny Face, but they immediately follow that up by losing half and half. Yeah, half and half uh, running in here a lot on, on these DPS characters, getting picked off at some bad times. Uh, boop there from Teammate on Ball of Sexy. So, you know, without the you know a lot of Roadhog play, you don't see a lot of funny boops, because Rodog, he is very susceptible to the boops. Uh, he's a big boy. Big yep. boys can get booped. Oh! As yeah, Tree gets a double dead eye here, this could be greater than a little life in the Lenny face. But, uh, oh, Albino Joe gonna res them both. Oh, here comes the tire. He's looking for it. He hits Utech, or did he get shielded from that? I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. It sounded yeah. like he popped it. Oh, yeah. Did not kill anybody. Yeah. And that's and... gonna be a map one win for Wang Zhang. Score zero to one. Oh man, where where are we going to now? Uh, Lighthouse. You know. At this point, Lenny Face, you just gotta mix it up. And I, I mean, granted, they are doing a lot of weird picks Junkrat, Roadhog, Arisa, but do something even crazier. Go go to where you wouldn't even think of. Like, five five supports? Are there five supports in this game? Yeah. Run five supports. See what happens. Just try it out. Just do I mean, something. I, I saw four supports almost win a map earlier, so. <laughs> there you it go. It can't hurt to try. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta at least try. It, you gotta show up to play. That's that's what I'm hoping for from Lenny Face here, and uh, we will see. They switched up Zarya now for Miracle Man. Playing so many new heroes, man. Yeah. For level 27. Yeah, and Wang Chang, they're still on that standard comp, and the Flex Master himself is on the Reaper. Very good Reaper map here for Lighthouse and Wang Chang. They take the point control early. Um, uh, but having that, he picks up the first blood of the map. But they do not pick up the points off of it. Although they do lose a second here, so we could see Lenny Face pushing this forward, going for something as Miracle Man jumps off and missed the chaos. A pretty even fight for a bit there, but now a few more fall for Lenny Face. I don't think they're going to be able to contest this point seriously. Nope. Um, and sh shoot or die on this Reinhardt. He is such a monster on this pick. Granted, Lenny Face just kind of like walked into him and he's just swinging, but I mean. He holds it down. He, he doesn't have a lot of healing support either. He finds a way to stay alive with using that shield to flicker on and off between uh, swings. And speaking of the devil, there it is. Shooter die solo on the point. Trying to buy time. His teammate comes to join him. And he is buying a lot of time here, but he knows he is not long for this world. But 
Golly gee, he's buying a lot of time here on this point. And as soon as he dies, Albino Joe brings him back up so he can fight some more. A great solo to shooter die. Gets all of Wang Zhang Tao out of this point. Is Tree going to drop the Tilt Barrage and not find a thing with it? Yeah, three elements still up. Alt economy management, very good for Wang Chang this time around. Uh, yeah, but it's gonna be three, maybe four alt alts to match from Lenny Face coming up. Yeah, I really like the default as the fight slider here. So I'll keep an eye out for what Cruz is able to do at the starts. As we are looking for what could potentially be the last fight. Boss X is gonna go down before he gets the transcends. Fail test. He goes down before he can get the resurrect. Oh no. This was the last fight, and it's going to be a disaster for Lenny Vase. Yeah, TK50. <laughs> just, he's just walking around on this Reaper completely uncontested. And when you're able to do that as Reaper, it's it's very devastating. He does a lot of damage when left unmanaged. Oh! <laughs> oh! The quick headshot cancels that Death Blossom early, and uh, they're going to get here. Earthshatter only knocks down Cruise Master. But the attack visor and primal rage together will defeat Lenny Face as their final attempt goes down. Just a little slower. And there it is. <laughs> Mercy one people can they actually set that up? Can both teams agree not to shoot each other? <laughs> this would be a perfect map for us. I mean, you get everyone standing up around the pit. You watch the two Mercies jump in, like, whichever Mercy wins gets the cap of the points, and then both teams jump in to follow up and fight. <laughs> That'd be some hype gladiator shit, but... I mean, it went in Rome. Exactly. They had gladiators in Rome. They weren't Mercy, but... Who, who, uh, who was? Who was the Overwatch gladiator in Rome? Oh, I... Uh... Probably Genji, dude. I, I was thinking the same thing, right? He... I, will make my I don't know. Who else? Oh, yeah. Pretty, McCree, maybe? I don't know. Damage increased. Oh, but here it is. Teams are rolling out. Uh, both teams just going straight for the middle here. TK30 back onto the Pharah. Once again, a, a really good Pharah map for both of these teams, so they're going to play it. But Utech flexing picks. over to the Widow. And chill out on the Genji. This is total disrespect coming out of Wang Zhang Tower. And I don't think Lenny Face has given them a reason to pay any respects. That's true. Yeah, okay, guys, we see Utech on Widow and chill out on Genji. Uh, <laughs> I, I, know, I know Soldier Main. Soldier Mains don't play Genji. It's, it's like... It's like a thing. You try to find me a soldier main who also plays Genshi. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna happen. So he's uh, he's trying his best here, and it's probably gonna be enough. Maybe he was just picking Genji because Utech wanted to play it. He was like, I can't let that happen. Ooh, I yes, the uh, let your team you, you deny your teammate the hero pick. That's a, that's a smart strategy. It's a big part of Genji. That's why, why do you think my team yeah. is Genji? <laughs> He gotta take it away from somebody. <laughs> take it away from me, man. I'm a scary man. No self restraint. Yeah. That's and the it. weave stick is uh, <sighs> unsheathed. I've never heard that uh, Widowmaker line, but as he shots TK, so as he shot Tree out of the air there, like mother, like a daughter. Got a little bit of a chill, man. Ooh. Wow! Oh man, I'm flying around in this spectator camera, and a rocket almost hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the, does this have Oculus Rift or HTC Vive that support? Would be, that would be intense. That would be super intense. Swing it, dude! Genji players—they're swinging their oh, mouth oh. everywhere. You gotta play Genji with a barf bag hooked up, cause you're just gonna spew by the end of every game. All right, so we got uh, half and half. He is. Retreated behind enemy lines here. Uh, maybe he's gonna be looking for the gym bone drop, but no hammer to bring with it. Boom! There's half see. and half at the pin. It was not enough, but on two man res coming out of Phil Destiny there. And this is it, the last fight of the night potentially. It's a Reinhardt charging after a Reinhardt charge. Three yeah. members on the point, two members on the point for Lenny Face, one member on the point for Lenny Face, Tree on the Genju. He's doing his best, but he gets 
sent to the Shadow Realm. Doing his best, but his best is nowhere near good enough. And Wang Zhang, uh, looks like I could have set that over under line at one half. And it still would have been the under. As the uh... match going to be Albino Joe on the mercy here. Um, this was pretty yeah. nice, actually. After Shooter Guy spends all that time stalling out on the points, Albino was just like, keep it up, buddy. Guys, you can't teach that level of overwatch. Seriously, there's not a coach in the world that's able to teach you that. Find, find me someone who coaches in Mercy. I'll take the lessons. I'll pay $100 to get coached in Mercy. I, uh... Are, are you... Can you coach me? Yeah. I, I heard you're the best Mercy in the league. I am. And oh, that okay. was a good rest. That was the second best Mercy in the league. But I can teach you, um, you know, like... I, I need one of those, like, porn side ads, like, platinum players hate him. <laughs> Guaranteed 1,000 elo boost overnight with these two tips. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I guess I, uh... Uh, people can tune in next time to find those. Yeah, we've got, uh, in addition to very good Mercy tips, uh, 100 bucks a lesson, uh, we've got two really good matches next week that will determine the first seed and the last seed. So, fortunately for us, Last week, the regular season is going to matter big here. Yeah, should be a fun one. So we will see you there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.